G'day, you 10. How are you going? Made it to the last week of term. Well done, guys. Uh, today is going to be a short video, a short amount of questions. Uh, we'll get our final lesson tomorrow. Uh, so looking forward to that. Um, so what we're looking at uh, is continuing our rates and proportion topic. Uh, we're looking at uh, proportion and different kinds of proportion here. Uh, so when we have, say, two variables, variable can be something like the cost of something versus the weight of something. Okay, so you might buy something per kilo or per gram or something. Or you might have the distance something takes and uh, the distance of a length and then the time it takes to travel it. Uh, those are two different variables. And we can describe those in uh, different ways mathematically. Uh, so there are particular descriptions which in maths mean very particular things. And there are lots and lots of different ways that we can describe the relationship of two variables. Uh, we're just looking at two today. Um, so the two things that we need to know is direct proportion and inverse proportion, which is sometimes also called indirect proportion. Okay, so direct and indirect or inverse. Um, and so direct proportion is when the value of one is zero, then the other variable will have a value of zero. Okay. Uh, and when one increases, so if I increased uh, the value of one by a certain amount, then the other value will increase as well. Um, so there's this sort of, when one goes up, the other goes up too. With inverse proportion, uh, when one value increases, the other one goes down, okay? So they work in inverse, okay, uh, different. So we need to be able to describe different sort of relationships as either direct, indirect, uh, or inverse, uh, or whether or not they don't have either of these. So there's an unrelated uh, match between the two variables. Okay, so here's three examples. All you've got to do today is sort of go through a few examples and decide which one you think fits best. Uh, so for A, the cost of tomatoes and the weight of tomatoes. So let's just look at our definitions again. Uh, if I bought no tomatoes, okay, then it wouldn't cost me anything. So both of the values would be zero at the same time. Uh, if I increase the, nut, the weight of tomatoes, the amount of tomatoes, um, then the cost will go up. Okay, so they both increase. Or if I paid more, then I would get more. Okay, so they both increase. So this would be direct proportion. Uh, the average speed of a car and the time taken to travel from Sydney to Melbourne. Okay, so if my speed increases, so we've got a fixed distance, Sydney to Melbourne's about a thousand or something uh, kilometers. Um, if we speed up, we go faster, it's going to take us less time. So the time will decrease if my speed increases. Okay, if my speed decreases, uh, I go slower, it's going to take me more time, the time will increase. So you see, we've got this opposite nature happening. Uh, this is inverse proportion. Okay, uh, we can see these things are inverse. And then finally, uh, the person's weight and the number of pets owned. Okay, you might have some theories on this. Uh, if you were to gain weight, that doesn't necessarily mean that you've gained pets. Uh, if you lost pets, okay, that's not necessarily going to uh, in, involve a change in your weight unless you were to eat your pets, uh, but we won't go there. Uh, we're just going to call these unrelated. Okay, there's no correlation. There's no match between these two variables of people. Okay, okay. so direct proportion, they both go up at the same time and they both are zero. Uh, and then inverse proportion, when one goes up, the other goes down or vice versa. All right. Good luck with the work today. Uh, shouldn't take you long. Uh, catch you tomorrow.